In this lesson, we take a look at geometric patterns. Example 1. We're asked to complete the table below for the number of matches used in this geometric pattern. So we've got a triangle here with three matches, then two triangles, then three triangles. Okay, and that pattern would continue. We've got to fill out this table. Okay, so we're comparing the number of triangles to the number of matches. Now the number of triangles, when there was one triangle, how many matches? Number of matches was three. When there were two triangles, the number of matches, well let's count that, there was three and another three, that made six. When there were three triangles, the number of matches, three and three and three is nine, going up by three each time. So when there's four triangles, we don't have that picture there, but the number of matches would be another three, would be 12. When there are five triangles, the number of matches, okay, going up by three again, would be 15. And if there were six triangles, the number of matches required, go up by three again, would be up to 18. Now we're asked to describe the pattern in words. So if you look at these numbers, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, they're all going up by 3. And we've got to work out, well, what's the connection between the top numbers? Okay, if something's going up by 3, what about thinking, what about if we times the top number by 3? 1 times 3 makes 3. 2 times 3 makes 6. 3 times 3 makes 9. 4 times 3 makes 12. 5 times 3 makes 15, and 6 times 3 makes 18. So to go from the top to the bottom, we multiply by 3. Okay, that rule worked everywhere. So the number of matches, to get the number of matches, we simply, it equals the number of triangles times 3. Example 2, we're asked to complete the table below for the number of matches used in this geometric pattern. Okay, this time we've got some squares. We've got one square there, we've got four matches. We've got two squares, looks like four and four is eight. Three squares there, looks like four and four and four will have 12 matches there. Okay, so let's complete this table. The number of squares, well, when there was one square, okay, the number of matches there required was four. When there were two squares, the number of matches required there is eight. Three squares, the number of matches required is 12. So to go from this number, the number of squares, to get the number of matches, looks like we are timesing by 4. Have a bit of a think about that. So we've understood the rule there. We've worked out the rule. Let's see if we can complete the rest of the table. When there are 4 squares, if we times by 4, we get 16. If there were 10 squares, okay, we've had a real jump here. But we still do the same. We times by 4, we'd have 40 matches required. Now this one, the number of squares, we don't know. But if we times by 4, we get 48. So we've got to think, what number times by 4 will give us 48? Well, that would be 12. In other words, 12 squares would require 48 matches. Part B, describe the pattern in words. Well, the number of squares, we need to multiply by 4 to get the number of matches. Okay, so we write, the number of matches equals the number of squares multiplied by 4. 